Welcome to St. Louis 301, the last race before the chase. All these drivers has an opportunity for today to make it a chase. If you won the season, you're already in the chase. But other drivers, they need to win. They need to power through to for today's race. The pressure is on. As we take a look at the starting lineup, row one is Brad Kozlowski and Jeff Gordon. Row two is Austin Dillon and Casey Kane. Row three is AJ Allmendinger and Danny Hamlin. Row four is Jimmy Johnson and Dale Jr. Row five is Kyle Wish and Matt Kenseth. Row six is Kurt Busch and Kyle Larson. Row seven is Carl Edwards and Ryan Newman. Row 8 is Kevin Harvick and Jimmy O'Quarry. Row 9 is Ryan Blaney and Chase Elliott. Row 10 is Greg Biffle and Martin Truex Jr. Row 11 you find Eric Amarillo and Clint Boyer. In row 12 you have Joey Logano and Ricky Stanhouse Jr. And finding out in the last row, row 13 is Donald Patrick. Whoever put 16, you're fired. Now let's get ready for the command. Like I said, the pressure is now on. Game on. Green flag, lap one, out of ten. Jeff Gordon and Brad Kozlowski leads the field right now. Nothing has changed, but it's going to change soon. Someone has to make the move. Like Jeff Gordon, for example. He's going to take the lead from Brad Kozlowski. He might win for the second time in a row. I mean, in this season. Not in a row. Sorry. Jeff Gordon leaves on his first lap of today's race. Austin Dillon might take first place from Jeff Gordon as AJ Allendigger out of nowhere he's gonna take second away from Austin Dillon as the field flies down out of turn three and Jeff Gordon reads another lap but here comes the battle for a second which is Austin Dillon and AJ Allmendinger. Battle of young stars battling out for second place to see if they can make it to today's chase as Jeff Gordon goes down to turn three and four and down to the front stretch he might rob those young stars and those young stars will be pressured as you take a look at that five right ten and Greg Biffle rounds Chase Elliott and collects others and Ricky Stenhouse saves it barely because he didn't hit any other drivers so that's a good sign for Ricky Stenhouse Jr. But the pressure is, could he still make it? He, he needs to win today's race. As we take a look at the replay, Chase Elliott makes contact with Martin Truex. And Truex is out of today's chase as, look at Stenhouse. He just played it safe. And the problem is, he has a flat, flat tire. So we'll be right back with two to go. Go follow, go to Instagram and follow World NASCAR Champions for future upsets. If you're not, you're missing out. For example, sign-ups for the SS1 Champion Series. And these are the cars. Just sign up, follow the rules, and then you're in the series. As we're ready to go with two to go. Jeff Gordon, he spuns the tires with two to go. Austin Dillon has the lead. Could he win today's race? I'll put, make a relief, but AJ Allmendinger might take it. Now we have a battle of young stars for the lead. AJ Allen Digger versus Austin Dillon as we are in the final lap of today's race. All hell is broken loose in the back. Denny Howland is out of one and two. He's in third. If anything happens, Denny Howland and Casey Kane out of nowhere. He spins around. There's a third there, there, there's a tire turn. And AJ Allen Digger wins and makes it in today's chase. But could Austin Dillon make it by points? Eh. 
I believe so. As we take a look at the re replay, Casey Kane is out, and if he didn't spin, he wouldn't make it, and a and Austin Dillon will be out. But look at this finish. A battle of young stars. They're beating the living hell out of each other on the last turn. Look at this. They're AJ Allmendinger just wins. Wow. What a finish. As we take a look at the finish from the results, AJ Allmendinger wins. And he's in the chase. He beat the living hell out of Austin Dillon. But here's the other drivers that miss. Eric Amarola, Clint Boyer, Casey Kane. What a heartbreaker for them because they miss the chase and the opportunity. But the question is, who made it to the playoffs? And the question the answer is these drivers right here. As you take a look at the point standing, Kyle Larson's still your leader, but Kyle Bush with two points. But it's about to change. Everybody's gonna be in first place, but after Daytona, everything's Austin and Duck right there. Look at those heartbreaker drivers that are not gonna make it today's chase. And the next race is Dr. Pepper presented by Coca-Cola.